<laughs> well, son, are you ready to open your present? Oh. What? It's your very own pony! Dad, you idiot! I wanted an Xbox! Ugh! Uh, uh, uh. Not so fast, son. This isn't just a pony. For within this pony is the antidote. An antidote, you ask? Why, the antidote for the poison that was in your birthday cake! <laughs> oh yes, that's right, son. You ate a poison. Now you get to choose either to kill the pony to retrieve the antidote, or spare the pony and let yourself die. The clock is ticking, birthday boy. <laughs> kill the pony. <laughs> you got him, you got him, son. <laughs> Happy birthday, son! <laughs> well, it would seem that the lesson was more valuable than the present. Hey, boy. Reach into the back. Those are the freshest. I know, I know. Okay, I got it. We're gonna need you to power down before takeoff. Thank you. Welcome aboard, Magic Airlines. This is your, uh, captain speaking. If you look down the aisle, you'll see, uh, Cindy, who will be demonstrating for you the, uh, safety features we have on board your flight. Emergency exits can be found at the front and rear of the plane. Please turn off all electronic devices during this time until it is safe. In case of an emergency, an oxygen mask will dispense from your overhead. To inflate your life preserver, pull on these doohickeys here. That ought to do it. Magic Airlines appreciates your attention. Thank you. All right, folks, buckle up. I hope you paid attention to our safety features on today's flight because uh, we're going to take a little pop quiz. Actually, be a good place to start. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow down! Slow the fuck down! I didn't come all the way to perform the first sonata, the summer to this mountain, just to fall off and die. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. There's no other way. I I'm so sorry. Your piano was just too heavy. Your mother's too heavy. Hey! You take that back. Make me. I take it back. Guys, I'm slipping. <laughs> nice! Thank you! Seriously though, we're all gonna die! Hold on! We're... 
We're gonna figure this out. If I may, uh, if you're still deciding that whole where to cut the rope thing, um, pretty sure the guy below me is a pedophile. I'm a teacher, not a pedophile. This is a field trip. I've told you guys like nine times. Wait, there's kids down there? We can't kill kids. Not just that. They're retarded kids. Oh, God. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, uh, can't we just cut off the panda bear? I should think not. That's an endangered species. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What does everyone else think? Drop him. Ditto. Kill the panda. Cool. Here you go. Oops. Well, this is it. Hi, this is Rod's Thick Pizza. How do you want it? Hi there. I'm a real lonely girl. And I'm so hungry, I could take all the meat you have. Mmm, I think we could do it for you. Would you perhaps like a spicy Mexican or a hot Italian sausage? Ooh, I'll take Italian with extra sausage. Now, ma'am, you know we only do it deep. I'm so ready. Mmm, good. I'll be coming in 30 minutes. See you then. I'll be waiting. Hello, ma'am. Here's your pizza. And? And that'll be $12.95. <laughs> Women and children first. All right. 
right, we have room for two more. Next. Wow. Okay, climb aboard. Ah, oh, thanks, man. No problem. <laughs> hey, all right. Get this bra oh, off me. Freaking heels are killing me. So no Jig out have... these rocket tits. Oh, 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 man. All right, who wants to play a Doc, give me the good news. How's my bundle of joy doing? Hmm. No. No, that, that's not right at all. Oh no, is there something wrong? Uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, Miss McLeod, but I think you're feeling what is called a phantom pregnancy. The symptoms you're experiencing are psychosomatic. You simply aren't pregnant. What? No, that can't be. I know that I'm pregnant. I can feel it. Ma'am, I understand that this is very difficult news to hear, but I can assure you that you're not pregnant. I'm so sorry. I can't admit. I'm going into labor. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. What? How can that? Oh, oh, okay. Um, um. Take deep breaths, Miss McLeod. Uh, deep breaths. In and out. In and out. Okay, you're doing good. Keep breathing. Fucking hurt. You better watch your mouth, Miss McLeod. Or your baby's gonna come out swearing like a sailor. Shut the fuck up and help. <clears throat> yes, of course. Just keep pushing and focus on the breathing. Perfect. Just like that. I think I can see it. Oh, shit. I cannot believe it. It's a boy. Well, Mr. McLeod, it seems I spoke too soon. You are now the proud mother of a bouncing baby. Miss McLeod? Okay, when we break the news to the kids, we need to do it in a way that doesn't make one of us seem like the bad guy. We need to let them know that we still love them. We just don't love each other. Yeah, you're right. But look, it's okay. I'll start the conversation. If they have any anger, it'll be towards me. They can't be mad forever. Really? Wow, thank you, Brad. That's very mature of you. Well... They've always liked you more anyway. <laughs> Kids! Put your toys down for a minute. Your father and I... Your father and I have something to tell you. Kids, your mom and I love you very much. So very much. You are just the best kids in the gosh darn world. And we are so lucky to be your parents. And that's why... I'm raising your allowance by five whole dollars! Yay! Yeah! Woo! Woo! What? Thank you, Daddy. You're the best dad ever. Brad, what are you doing? Kids, you're not getting a bigger allowance. Your father and I are getting a divorce. What? No! M Mom, why? Why are you doing this to us? Yeah, Mom, why? <laughs> you monster! Pinocchio.
Pinocchio. You look marvelous. You almost look like a real boy. I want to be a real doll. Thank you. 